Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race. Today we're actually heading over to Motion Auto TV with Trevor and gonna get this thing ready to paint. I'm actually gonna try to throw a fresh coat of paint on this thing, some decals and stuff before the ice cream cruise. So it's looking like with all the changes this year and everything that's happened, the ice cream cruise is hopefully, fingers crossed, gonna be the first place to do a big burnout on this thing. Uh, I actually have a plan locally to possibly go do one as a practice and then that'll be the first main event. So let's get this thing loaded up and head on over to Trevor's. That shot. All right guys, so there it is, all loaded up. We made it over here to Trevor, so we're gonna get it unloaded, pulled in here and see what he wants to do with this thing. So the truck is unloaded. We're gonna do a quick little sand out here. Trevor's got everything. If you haven't watched his channel, he's painted all sorts of stuff. And uh... I'm tired of painting <laughs> But honestly, I like paint jobs like this because it's just, it's just quick. Yeah. And instead of trying to do like a show car where you're like worried about everything, this thing we're just kind of scuffing it to make the paint stick. We're gonna throw some quick single stage on it and uh, it's gonna look good. For, for the amount of time we're gonna put into it, yep. it's gonna make a massive difference oh, yeah. on, and, on the uh, other side of it. So. it white too. And if you paint something white, it's gonna look all right. Nice clean, match the, yeah. match the toe pig over there. So just wanna do white, then we'll throw some decals on it to cover up some of the blims anyway and stuff like that. So that's the plan today, guys. We're gonna run over it with some sandpaper uh, and then we'll end up painting. We're gonna use a booth maybe, or just out here? Right? Use the booth, they might spray it out. Spray it out here, here. whatever works out. have something in there tomorrow. Um, so whatever works out, if we can, we can, yeah, if not. Definitely. I mean, if we paint it outside, it'll, it's gonna be fine. I mean, the truck is gonna get beat to death, so it's not so what, what not important. That, I think that, I mean, really, realistically, we're just kind of scuffing it in order to shoot it. Um, and the single stage stuff that I've worked, we'll end up putting a hardener in it, but it's really glossy, hides a lot of stuff. Uh, we should be able to hit it with like 180 grit and actually paint over that and it'll fill in all the sand scratches because it's so thick. Nice. Um, but one of the things I want to do is uh, like the pinstriping so you'll see that line. So we'll for sure buzz that off so that's all smooth. And then right here where there's all like that glue and stuff mm -hmm. uh, from the trim, we'll get all that off so that you know you don't have any little ripples and stuff. But otherwise all the little minor dents and stuff, it'll, it'll hide it really well, so. Yeah, so I just popped the trim off there and then pulled these off because they're kind of beat up anyway, which they've actually kept the body pretty decent so i'm just gonna run over it guys and i'm gonna learn how to maybe paint something a little bit sure <laughs> let's do it <laughs> that's 180 yeah, that's yeah. guys so i'm just working on getting all that crap off da in it a little bit just making my way down through there also trying to get rid of the pinstripe as i go too because that's a kind of pain even alex showed up so he's getting the lights off the back here trevor and i were talking we'll probably take some of this trim off and uh, just make it a lot easier once it's painted it'll be a lot nicer and then put new trim on it because this stuff's all pretty junk anyway not that it's going to get it right away but keep clicking cooling off a little bit thanks to the old rain cloud right there alex found a little uh Lost nest up here. That must have been what happened when it was sitting under a tree for all them years. <laughs> so we're making a little bit of progress on it here. Got most of that all off, cleaned up, starting to DA this side. Uh, got this back little panel off, cleaned up for the most part. Got the lights out, bumper off. This side's all DA'd. As you guys can see, it's starting to come together. I mean, by no means is the body perfect, but that's okay. This truck's just going to get beat up. Not bad for a $350 truck. We'll throw some uh, fresh coat of paint on it, some stickers, and send it. Well, Trevor's over here getting ready to go, go make a hit, huh? 
So what's your best time in this? 10, 3, at like 144. Good mile an hour. Just trying to get that single digit pass. <laughs> So we're actually going to head out to the track here soon. He's going to make some rips in this, and then we'll be back tomorrow to uh, sand up some of this stuff and go paint it. Everyone, so back over here, been just pounding on it with the DA. One of these little bills to remove the pinstripe. That's been probably the biggest pain is the pinstripe, even though you're like sanding on it, it stays there, and then you start getting into metal on the body. But yet the pinstripe actually stays, but now it's gone, we're good. So just going to keep uh, doing all the little things, little stuff by hand, going around all the little window trim, all the little tedious things to try to get it sanded a little bit. So then hopefully we can take this thing off and spray it here in just a little bit, a couple hours or whatever. But I'm uh, just going to finish up, kind of got the tailgate, went ahead and deleted all that. Deleted all the molding. Now it's all sanded. You guys can kind of see it there. So I think it's looking pretty good. The body's not, like I said, perfect, but it's not terrible. Like the bed's kind of beat up, which what truck isn't. The fender has a little crinkle right like here. Uh, hail damage on the hood and roof, but just went ahead and like sanded all the little pits out of it um, So there is still like little little spots here and there but This truck's gonna get beat up I just want it to look better than it does and I think it already is even though it's just been a whole bunch of sanding on it It's just getting more uh, Cleaned up and everything so just gonna go ahead and keep going so guys Trevor went and picked up some paint We're gonna get it popped open, but just base white nice and simple Super simple. Oh yeah. Right where I left it. Woo! That's bright white. That's pretty white. Oh yeah. Nice and bright. That's gonna be nice. Oh yeah. It still covers really well too. So. Pretty thick. Um, it's not super thick, no? but just the the way it covers, it just you don't have to put like ten coats on it. Yeah. Again. There's a lot of whites that are really transparent. Oh sure. And uh this it just goes on pretty nice and then it should hide the you know any of the scratches and the uh, little, Perfect. little stuff to it so nice and simple if you ever have to touch it up too yeah just and we'll have plenty of that so. yeah cool quick little wash see what uh yeah, good, yeah. see what we got era maybe we can just spray it get some patina look at that yeah just patina it out that's all it's ready to go Shoot. This is how we're gonna paint it too. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna stand back. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna put the paint and, just, and done. Just the whole thing. Just fire hose it. Five minutes. Should be good. No problem. All right. Looks like everything is about ready to be sprayed. Trevor's been knocking out a bunch of the masking. I've been learning a little bit along the way of what's going on, but everything's pretty much masked off. Truck is wiped down. Don't touch it, we don't leave fingerprints on it, and uh, should be ready. Sprayed off pretty cool. The guys right next to Trevor actually let us borrow the booth, so we appreciate that. And we're gonna spray this thing down, and it should be nice, bright white, very, very soon. It's been pretty busy two days, you know, a couple hours there sanding yesterday, quite a few hours uh, prepping and sanding, taping off, wiping down, cleaning today. But I think it's definitely gonna be worth it again. It's like. Trevor was explaining in his video, and if you guys don't know, Trevor has Motion Auto TV. If you don't already follow him, check him out on his YouTube channel, but he does a lot of paint body projects, a lot of cool stuff, drifting, uh, drag racing the Civic, as you guys have seen on this channel before and stuff like that. We've had it on the dyno, but I asked him to help me out with this thing. He said, heck yeah. So that's what we're gonna do, and I've learned quite a bit, so I appreciate him. So again, shout out to Trevor for all the work on this thing. Uh, definitely appreciate it. So we're gonna try to get this thing sprayed white. You ready? Me. All right. Something. I don't know Something. Be one color. That's what we're ready yeah. for. So you don't have to do much. Just a little bit of hardener in it, and that's about it. Yeah. Nice and easy. This thing's pretty sweet. Oh yeah, paint booth is. It's where it's at. Even just to like contain. Just contain it. Right. Know? Yeah, you no. just don't have a mess as bad. I mean, you still get some dirt and stuff in there just because there's so much a volume of air just yeah. going through that if any, like you open the door, you know, and you grab something or you have something on your hair, you know, or your beard or whatever. Anything, yeah. You know, it'll drag it through it, but you, uh, 
It's not just sitting there stirring it or you whatever. You overspray, you have plenty of light, you don't mess up the rest of the shop. Like, yeah. That type of stuff. But you set up some little makeshift booths that's worked pretty yeah, well. Yeah, but it worked all right. So. so the biggest thing is just having airflow across it. Like, so it's constantly, you're not just getting a bunch of floating yeah. particles. Yeah. And then we also went in when he was kind of getting everything ready, kind of wetted the floor a little bit, just so then you keep some of the dust down, right? Yep. So, look at that. It's going to be bright. Oh, yeah. Might be brighter than the other truck. Yeah. It'll be nice. It'll hide a lot of stuff, so. Yep. That's what we want. Yeah, that's why I wasn't too worried about doing any sort of, like, color. Just keep it simple. Don't yeah. have to paint door jams. Don't have to mess with stuff. Just keep, keep metallic out of it, too, because metallic, it, it shows. Yeah. It just shows, like, dents and stuff because the metallics will lay weird. Kind of build up in those areas and stuff. Yeah. Should be pretty interesting. We'll find out, though. Old Bernie's about to get a fresh coat of paint. Oh, <laughs> coat number one's going on. See ya, Gray. Nice bright white started working the top now working his way down man it's gonna look so good kind of sucks when you look at like the hood you see some of those uh hell marks but it's what the truck is intended for is just to be pretty simple this will help out a huge amount of gosh dang look how cool that is making a huge difference already Ooh, what a difference door and bedside with the single coat Compared to that fender. Oh yeah, I like how it just de uh, badging or de or taking the trim off the sides of it. How it really cleaned it up, just made it nice and clean. I think the S tens look really good. Um, just kind of de badged and cleaned up. It still has a little S ten badge right there, but that, taking that little trim piece off along the side and just having an all square body like. I think that, I, I like that look a lot. A little inspection time. That looks pretty good, dude. Like I was just telling Trevor, I was like, I don't want it to almost be perfect <laughs> because then I won't want to mess it up. I'll be sad if it does. So, but I mean, what a difference already that makes. I mean, I'm I, sure. I get to this weird point too where I'm like, man, we should have, we should have fixed some dance. You know, we should have done this. You know, or, you could have. But then you could also tie it another three days no, into this like, freaking thing. To make this thing nice, it would have been a week. A week, Like right. a solid week of like, we would obviously got a new hood. But like to actually do like a, a legitimate right. paint job. And seven days from right now, this thing's gonna be on a burnout pad at the ice cream cruise. So actually, how many days from now? Should it's gonna be the one Saturday. here. Oh, oh yeah, no, yeah, on Tuesday. The practice burnout. Shoot, I mean, we're three days away from that one. Yeah. I keep forgetting about that one, but that's, that's where I want to go to make sure everything checks out and uh, looks good. But definitely the hood. It looks like a golf ball, but like I was telling Trevor, you know, I'll pull the hood off sometimes and then easy enough to just go get a clean new hood, cut the holes in it and then respray it white. So I'm not even, otherwise, man, I mean the truck, as far as like fenders, doors, and even for the bed, it's freaking pretty straight. So mm -hmm. I dig it, dude. I mean, it looks freaking. Yeah, at least it's one color now, so. It is definitely 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times better than it was because mm -hmm. it was rough. It looks, it looks freaking awesome. Can't wait to like get some decent wheels like for the front and burnout wheels you don't care about in the back. But see even this front lip, the badge got all that old crappy trim off of it and everything. Just looks clean now. Throw some big old decals on this thing and it'll be ready to rip. All right, everyone, so Bernie is back in the garage. Huge shout out to Trevor. Thank you so much for helping me out with this thing, man. I am super stoked. I ended up picking up from him last night. It was actually raining, but got it back home. So the truck needs a little bit of a cleaning, but otherwise, man, what a difference it has made. But the bumper is still sitting there from where I left it. Shop's a mess from trying to tear this thing down to take it over there to paint it. So I need to get this thing back together and get ready for the practice burnout, which is tomorrow. So I Put the bumpers back on it, tail light, do some of those things, get it back to complete. I also need to throw a trans blanket on it, add some safety to this thing, and then we're going to go do some burnouts hopefully tomorrow night. So if you guys want to see that first burnout, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We will see you guys in the next video.